Boom! Life is never boring, but some people choose to be bored. Boredom is a choice. If you want to be bored, it is a choice. For sure, because there's so much work to be done. Like, I don't understand people that, that when they say they are bored and they have no, uh, nothing to do, no, uh, they have no work. Like, there's no work. That's another thing, and eh? we, every time we come to a point that either we become jobless or we lose our job or something, we think that there's no work to do, there's no work to be done. That's what we think. So we go along and think that job is only outside of ourselves also, <laughs> when there's so much work to be done just on ourselves. Just on ourselves, the work to be done on ourselves to reconnect with the with the greatness and all the the beauty and magic around us no, is very uh, it's a big work no? it's a big work it must get done it must be done it's a work that must be done because if not it's spiritual suicide that's what's happening and people don't know like you don't really know that stuff no? like i wasn't really aware that i was committing a spiritual suicide these things you're not really aware because if not you would create uh, changes in your life you would uh, come on you would do something if people would be aware of the gravity of the situation because that's the only place where I can see gravity is in this situation we're in uh, yeah they would start doing something for sure if you know the, 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 the deepness, come on, every, but if you don't know that you're a slave and that uh, you're committing spirit, you know, if you, what's going on in the world today, the, the, the illusion is so thick, the, the people can't even, uh, can't even perceive it, can't even perceive it because the propaganda machine is very, very, uh, is well geared. A propaganda machine that is very well geared, very well uh, maintained. So as long as they maintain the propaganda in society and they, they continue uh, pumping nonsense into our brains, into our minds, uh, people are not going to see clear, for sure. The masses are never going to see through. The illusion is way too thick. Look at all the people that go and uh, Pre, pre, just pray on their knees at the Vatican yard. No? That tells me something. No? That we're very, very much uh, giving away our power and uh, our magnificence to a system that is enslaving us. In our minds, it's a mind game. Because you're free, you have free will. You can do whatever you want here. No? You can design a life of your dream at any time. Anytime you can take a leap, but will you do it? Will you take the leap? Will you take the necessary step to move and advance uh, outside of mediocrity? That's the question. And mediocrity is not only mediocrity with our uh, money, it's mediocrity of the mind. <laughs> you know, not knowing who you are is terrible. Eh? It's terrible and most people have no clue. Not that I really know who I am and I put myself on a pedestal. I probably... Uh, but at least I'm trying to find out. <laughs> I'm trying to find out who I am. I don't let myself uh, drown in sorrow and negativity and say, uh, oh, the world is too bad, I'm giving up. No way! Never! I'm always gonna be here. Arising and shining in the river the rivers of greatness they should rename it the river of greatness greatness river instead of a, i think it's called the river saint saint martin river so it should be called greatness river yeah. maybe one day i'll have my own uh, my own island will be called greatness island I have it here, but there's a little hole. 
But yeah, we can walk everywhere in the river. No? I just came back from all the way here, all the way there. And it's very, uh, it's like a bed of rock. And it's very comfy, it's not, uh, I walk barefoot. Super great. So boredom is a choice. Move out of boredom and do something with your life. Take, a, take the camp, put the mic on and speak your mind. Even if it's just to yourself. If you're scared to post it or put it online so people are uh, afraid of the opinion of others. Eh? Do it for yourself to start. If you want to be confident but don't normally act that way, then today, just this once, act in the physical world the way you believe a confident person would. Me, every time, every time I get up my bed, I get out with great, great smile, great confidence, ready to, uh, to attack the day. I always say to myself, good morning world, I'm ready for today. Good morning world, I'm ready for today. Yeah, that's what we gotta be, we gotta be ready. Always be ready for an opportunity, even if you don't have one. It's always better. Yeah. Try to learn from the past rather than repeating it and making reference to it all the time. Stop making reference to the past. You can never please everyone. In fact, if you please 50% of the people, you're doing quite well. That's it. That's why I don't stress in pleasing uh, everyone. It's not about pleasing everyone. It's uh, first of all pleasing yourself. Pleasing your... Uh, enjoying yourself, enjoying your, your, your time here. Like with positive thoughts and all kinds of stuff. Remember that every single thing you've gone through has helped lead you to where you are today. For sure. That's why when you're able to connect the dots looking backward, when you connect the dots looking backward, it's gonna, at one point you can e even almost look uh, in front of you and connect some dots. Like you, the, the fate, if you're confident that the dots were connected in the past, you will move to the future, to the present moment with more confidence, knowing that things are aligned for you, that th knowing that things are gonna align for you. And it's important to know that. We have magnificent power to get in touch with the, all those divine vibes. But, but Get to develop the, the strength, the confidence, and then you're in business. That's all I see. You'll come to find that everything you must have comes to own you. You'll come to find that anything you must have comes to own you. The funny thing is when you release it, you start getting more of it. Yeah. If you start releasing love, you're gonna get more of it. Start releasing it. Open your heart, open the valve. The valve are closed. Let the love flow out your heart. Open those valves. If you want to find your true purpose in life, know this for certain. Your purpose will only be found in service to others and in being connected to something far greater than your body, mind, and ego. Powerful. True. The doctor sitting here in the sun. On Greatness Island, so guys, I'll be back. But yeah, if you want to find your true purpose in life, know this for certain, your purpose will only be found 
be found in service to others and in being connected to something far greater than your body, mind and ego. He is out.